Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 52 of New Windsor. We're pretty far along here. Uh, before we get started, I want to show you what we're working on today. So today we're going to be working on this area north of downtown. We're going to be focusing mostly on a public housing complex and a cemetery, but we're also going to be building a little bit of industry, some commercial, and a church, and then a couple other things. So yeah, uh, let's uh, get into it here. We're starting off with the public housing complex. Uh, I, I'm starting with these roads, uh, the parking lot roads, just to basically uh, create the shape of the um, road complex, uh, I guess, within, I guess, the road layout within the complex. Um, so these public housing buildings are by King Leno, and they're basically exactly what I'm looking for for this specific, um, this specific development, because I'm basing this off of something directly from Providence in Rhode Island, which is sort of the main basis for the city. It's this area north of downtown that's got a public housing complex right next to a cemetery. So the public housing complex has all these little brick buildings here. Uh, they're all more connected than the buildings that I've placed, but these are definitely good enough. And it's, it's not worse, just different uh, what I'm placing here. Um, and it's got a little playgrounds. And um, yeah, it's right by the highway. It's like exactly what I, I'm going for here because I'm working on a public housing complex with a graveyard and a playground right next to the highway. Uh, so, and, and it's also got brown buildings. Um, the whole package, exactly what I'm looking for, uh, is right here in Providence. Um, so we're basing it directly off of that. I'm starting off here by experimenting a little bit with the paths because I'm sort of not sure what I want to do here. The paths don't really connect all that well, um, or like certain paths don't. I, I, I tried to use all sorts of different network paths. These ones by bad idea just don't work on slopes that well, and I don't really know how to fix that. And then the vanilla park paths are too wide and just... Um, overdeveloped, if that makes sense, for, for what I'm going for here. Like, just these are way too wide. I don't end up using them. They just don't look right. Because um, this development here that we're basing this off of doesn't, like, it doesn't have wide paths. It's just got the paths going from the parking lots directly towards the, the houses. Um, just directly there and nothing else. And they, they're not wide, they're very thin, so I'm trying to go for the same thing here. Um, and I try to use these stairs and stuff like that, and the stairs sort of work. I managed to use the stairs in decals, meaning the paths are not functional, uh, but this is the best I could do. I couldn't really figure anything out that was better, um, but I remember when Corrales made um, his public housing project in season three he used these paths here and they looked really good so i figured i'd be able to work it out because the paths like look great because they're so narrow that you can just connect them to the backs of these houses to the doors directly so another note uh this episode's like shorter than the 40 or like 30 to 40 minutes that i've been doing for the most part recently and it's probably gonna stay more like this length moving forward like i think uh Actually, the past couple of episodes have been about 25 minutes or so. Um, I think it's going to end up looking more like 20 minute episodes um, as we move forward, like 15 to 20 minute, uh, but usually more like 20 um, as long as I'm uploading yeah, as long as I'm uploading twice a week. I can't speak today. This is really bad. My apologies. But yeah, like this video um, is the this is going up on a Wednesday if all goes as planned. And, um, yeah, I mean, like, I wasn't uploading twice a week before, so that's why the videos were, like, 30 minutes long. Uh, but I'm slowly transitioning down to about this, this length, because the upload schedule is currently Wednesday and Saturday, if you're wondering. It's not a specific time, it's usually just early morning for me, Pacific time, so, like, midday, mid-afternoon, um, in Central Europe. Um, it's just, I, I would have a specific time, but I upload videos early for patrons, which, if you want to, if you want to see videos early, definitely go over to Patreon, but... Uh, patrons get videos early and that means that the videos need to be unlisted until they go live I can't schedule them because scheduling them makes them private So I have to manually make videos public, which is a little bit annoying But it's fine and I generally get videos up at the same 
same general time. Uh, I mean, like, I wake up at 6 in the morning, so I'm able to do it sometime, like, half an hour after I wake up. Um, like, I, I don't usually use my phone until about half an hour after I wake up. I like to, uh, like, just give myself, like, half an hour to meditate and read before I do anything. I highly recommend that as well. Just give yourself half an hour in the morning. That's all you need. Just no phone. And I've actually, as a result, um, I've been using my phone less just from that from having starting my day off not habitually checking it um well this is like a random tangent but yeah recommend that um although it's not what we're talking about uh i guess we could talk about the cemetery we're building so that area in providence that i showed you earlier which we're basing the public housing off of once again has this cemetery very close by um it is a pretty large cemetery uh i've built a couple of them in New Windsor already. I built a large one um, over, I believe, by the university, uh, the initial Hawking University, not the new one. But yeah, so this before, um, I tried to go for a similar style to what I'd done before, um, except I didn't add a lot of different varieties of gravestones, uh, just the one variety, and I just copy-pasted the um, arrangement that I had had before like basically it's not too detailed but when you zoom in it looks pretty good uh and now i'm adding a chain link fence along the highway here this highway is basically the highway that leads into the main interchange in the city um and we're actually pretty close to that right now like i'll show you in the live play specifically where we are we're pretty close to that main interchange um inspired by the one in providence that's uh right near downtown uh, in the city but oh yeah here i'm placing more of those rock decals that i have been placing recently um and they i placed them on like part of the periphery of the um graveyard and they look pretty good they they add a lot of texture um that the dirt um decals don't add as much uh and they're pretty interesting i like them i gotta start combining them with dirt um decals as well because those two together uh, pretty good but like you see like i'm placing them in the just the whole landscape there and it looks so good and it's really easy so yeah uh okay here i am working on just these couple of blocks in here trying to fill them out there are a bunch of blocks around here that i don't actually fill out on camera i do some of them off camera just to get a feel for what i want to do for the rest of them so you'll see um like i'll have some off camera stuff that'll sort of appear maybe in the save game for next episode you'll see it Next episode, I believe we're going to be moving away from the city entirely and working on a rural road network, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, it'll be not too long even, because I'm going to speed it up a lot more than I usually speed videos up, because just placing roads is sort of boring, uh, unless it's quick and you, you're placing a lot of roads. Um, but yeah, okay, here I'm placing just some buildings on this, this commercial strip here. Uh, just a variety of different things. I've got a fire station here. I've got... A diner I've got a pizza hut I've got a gas station like a bunch of other things um, and I'm placing some of these um, like I think I grab some of those newer industry buildings by sparks I believe in in just a moment and you'll see me place those um, I, I have to figure out how I'm gonna integrate those into other parts of the city because I don't know where else they're gonna come into use because I've built a lot of the places where they would come into use already. And uh, Taser already built the area by the uh, oil uh, tanks near downtown. So there aren't that many other places, but we'll see because that, that new pack is pretty awesome. And you'll see me place that stuff in a second. But first I'm working on a small distribution center, like a really small one. Um, I don't even, yeah, some sort of distribution center, who knows what it is, but we've got some trailers, um, going in there, but yeah, here, I'm placing those buildings I was talking about right now, uh, just this whole industry pack that is just really satisfying to place, because the texturing and modeling is just so good, uh, and then I mix it in with a bunch of different triple-decker houses around here, uh, because this is very much, um, like, mixed zoning, you've got lots of different types of zoning around here, lots of residential, commercial, and industrial just sort of scattered around uh, in the same area, which is, you know, a lot of the time what you'll see in these sort of quasi-industrial areas that are more working class. Like in these sorts of areas, you'll have much more mixed zoning 
a, a lot of the time, and that's sort of what I'm going for here, where there's no particular attention to what get what gets placed where. Like you'll just have a you know a shop right next to somebody's house, or you know a, a, like a factory or a warehouse right next to somebody's house, and that's what I was sort of going for there. And then this block right here is mixed uh, industrial and commercial. I've got this gas station on the corner and then mostly just some warehouses here. And I placed a motel, like a Best Western, um, pretty close by there as well, just to fill that gap. Cause I don't want to just place smaller buildings. I want to have a bunch more large buildings uh, with larger footprints around here, uh, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, like just placing some of these like destroyed um, pile decals from the vanilla game, stuff like that. Um, and I don't really detail the hotel all that much. I place the church here though. Um, I believe this is a Mormon church. I'm not sure. It's from, it's in the workshop. You'll, you'll be able to find it. Um, just like control F church in my collection of the description. Um, and you should be able to find it. It's a really cool model. Uh, that is, it's one story. It looks pretty cool. So I placed that right there. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's basically it for the, the live play. Let's hop in game here and take a look at what we just built. And, um, yeah, we'll talk about what we're going to be doing next episode as well. All right, folks, we're in game. Let's take a look at what we built this episode. So this area over here is the sort of bad side of town near the train station, uh, which is still very broken. Um, we worked somewhere over here, where, where, where did we work? We worked here, uh, in this episode, which is in relation to that area, sort of right, right across the highway. And, uh, we built this public housing, uh, development right here, uh, which I am definitely a fan of. I think it came out great. Uh, it doesn't look like a very desirable place to live, but it looks pretty realistic for, um, what you'd see in a like a housing project like this. Um, we've got a fire station, not too much detailing at all here. Um, just some commercial buildings. Once again, not detailing too much here. This is a baseball field from the workshop, uh, which I love using. It looks very, very good compared to what we've had in the past. Uh, I don't know why there's a parking space right there, but there is, whatever. Um, we've got a gas station, we've got this industrial building here, we've got some warehouses and some of these other industrial buildings that I, once again, have not detailed much. I've just placed them down here and they look pretty good. Um, there's one over here as well. And we've got a distribution center and then this mixed zoning in here with some houses, some commercial, some um, industrial stuff. It's, it's a real mix here. Um, but look at like the detail on these industrial buildings. Like it's so cool just how it, look at the, the grass that actually comes like above here. Let me show you, like look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, not too much detail in this specific area. We went over the graveyard over here and I basically just copy pasted these gravestones uh, from a different cemetery that we had built before. Uh, and th that's right next to the public housing project here, which is right next to this playground, which connects, uh, which connects to this neighborhood. Um, and then the highway is right next door. So that is sort of what the area looks like generally. Um, this is what it looks like from above. Uh, and then over here, obviously we've got that motel we placed and we've got the church and the parking lot for the church, which is probably a little bit overblown, but whatever. Um, yeah, uh, that's basically it. I, I wanted to show you quickly. I did replace all of the houses in the map, um, which I don't think I mentioned in the episode, and they are all triple deckers now, and they look extremely good. Um, like just looking at this, just the whole map looking like this is just awesome. I, I didn't replace everything. Like I left some of the um, older triple deckers with the black roofs, but not too many of them because I like the higher density uh, triple deckers that I've been placing more recently. So I replaced everything on the map essentially with those with a little bit of variation and if you look um, over here uh, we have this sort of transition out from downtown where I placed some triple deckers but then also some other buildings and we sort of slowly have fewer and fewer triple deckers as we move away and we've got 
more you know normal sized houses uh, instead and that is basically what i went for with the transition but yeah i mean you'll just see all these triple deckers absolutely everywhere um they have replaced the old triple deckers and they look pretty good i'm not gonna lie um just seeing them on the the entire map like it makes the map look a lot more complete um and it's just like this everywhere um which is very realistic looking and well yeah actually the amount of cars that are parked here looks so cool that is awesome um but yeah we've got i mean we've got a lot more work to do uh, we did fill in a nice big plot of land that really needed to be filled in uh, by the highway here. And I think we did some interesting builds in this episode, like this housing project I am definitely a fan of. Uh, I love the, the graveyard here. And um, yeah, I mean, that's basically this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I definitely did. Um, but if you did, make sure to leave a like. It lets me know that you enjoyed. It helps people find the videos because the YouTube algorithm thinks that you like the video because you left a like. So it recommends the video to more people because they might potentially like it too. So that's how I believe that works. So leave me a like. It, it's helpful. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you're new around here. Hit the bell icon uh, to get notified whenever I upload a new video so you never miss an upload. Uh, let's see what else. If you want to fly around the city or just walk around the city like I am right now here. Or I'm flying, but like I'm at walking level, like street level. Whatever. If you want to explore the city, definitely go over to Patreon, because you can just download the save game if you're a patron over there. And um, you could also get access to episodes early. Highly recommended. Um, and you could get your name in the credits at the end uh, in a minute uh, if you go over to Patreon. Or if you just want to support me, which is definitely appreciated, because I enjoy building virtual cities, which are very hard to explain to people who don't understand what City Skylines is, and then spending my time on that instead of spending my time on uh, working or where, whatever else I would do. Uh, I enjoy doing this. It's a lot of fun, and you guys definitely, definitely help facilitate that, whether you're just subscribed or you're a patron, uh, whatever you are. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm going to apologize for that airplane noise in the background. I got my window open. But whenever I apologize for an airplane noise, people say they didn't hear it, so I don't know, but I don't have any background music going right now. And, um, and I am... Yeah, like recording with the window open, so I guess that would be like the perfect opportunity for you to actually hear the plane noise, which, yeah, I mean, apologies for the plane noise, or I guess I could also say you're welcome for the plane noise, because some of you guys like that, because this is a City Skylines channel, so, um, yeah, what else? Follow me on Twitter, I, I don't know, you could follow me on Twitter, I post on Twitter for sure, um, but it's mostly just random updates and stuff like that, for if there will be a video or not, uh, or sometimes I'll post screenshots, Sometimes, like, I'll repost a bunch of stuff from other creators. Um, or you can go over to my Instagram, where I post my own realistic screenshots. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the cinematics.